Many things held me back from living the life I was truly meant to live. Are you beginning to feel some pity for me? Don't at all. It's the way my life is meant to roll. But the truth is that if I decided to accept fate and flow with the tide of life just like that, I may remain miserable for the rest of my life and God won't be happy with me. That's it. Now, it's a mobile saving on Life Well Lived talk show. Don't forget you can catch up missed episodes on our blog site, youmatter2life.com or subscribe on my YouTube channel on Mobile Steven. For some days now, I have been on a retrospective mode. Ask me. I think I really need it because this is absolutely the best time to take stock of my life and effect changes where necessary. That is it. I know absolutely that I'm not the only one going to such defining moment in my life. You too. Of course, we are all children of the past and a proper conjuration of the past gives our present life a proper direction towards the future. And what really is on my mind, it's about rejection. Say what? You heard me right. Rejection. It's a regular word, I know. But do you know that the reason why most people are living in the shadow of the true and real life they were meant to live, it's because of the roots of rejection. Some stuffs like low self-image, low self-worth, low self-value, and low self-esteem. Incredible. When an individual is experiencing one or more of these negative tendencies, they are definitely going to be stuck in life, watching life pass them by according to the words of Rob Liano. Now that's very terrible. That's what I went through in my life. I am a clear victim of rejection right from my cradle years, and this followed me till adulthood. Now, let me quickly run through three key effects of what rejection did to me. I'm sure that you can identify with one or two. By the way, I'm going to give you some elder tips alongside to help you overcome rejection. Now, what do you need to do? You need to follow me. talking about rejection and how you can handle and overcome it. Number one is that I was going to the constant need for approval. That is it. I mean, I was a freaking approval seeker, always wanting to be approved by anyone and everyone. My stance was my opinion or judgments needs to be considered. Who says? Most people really are busy looking for how to better their lives rather than being burdened by someone else's issues. That is the truth. But I wasn't thinking that way. I thought if they really loved me, then I should count. So my problem was, I do something, I call the other person for an approval in a more subtle manner. What was the outcome at the end of the day? They were beginning to be pissed off and sometimes they just shut down completely. Now, the reason for wanting approval is because I never truly accepted myself, both my foibles, weaknesses and strengths, and that's very bad. Number two is overpleasing mentality. Oh my goodness. I am a rated for this. Five stars for the Haskam. I just love to place people. I mean everyone. You can begin to figure them out. I kept on collapsing my boundaries and dishonoring my values. Annoyingly, I was shortchanging myself. The outcome really was not impressive at all. I was overly burdened. Angry, resentful, and frustrated. I couldn't focus on me for a day. It was all about them and not me. Now, my career was gradually nosediving and it never bothered me. I was order-centered. That's the word. Now I know better that being self-centered isn't a bad idea after all. That is it. In fact, I come first before others. Because when I'm emotionally and psychologically balanced, then everything around me, including you, will benefit. Isn't it? Cool. Number three is struggling to trust and accept people for who they are. Now ask me, how can? 
When those I really looked up for support at a tender age turned their back on me, leaving me to face life squarely all by myself. That was a tough period in my life. Of course, I'm a relationship person, but sustaining it was a struggle for me because I am overly insecure and less confident of myself. The result, a lonely and boring life, you say. I allowed some precious relationships to slip through my fingers just like that. I couldn't handle my emotions, I beg your pardon. I couldn't handle my emotions. Most importantly, I wasn't ready to let go of the past. I was the high premium lover of my past. That is it. It didn't lead me anywhere after all. Now I know better and I'm starting on a clean slate. That is the key word, on a clean slate. Now to overcoming rejection. I'll be right back. Thanks for anchoring around. Now looking at the flip side of the effects of rejection, I talked about you should therefore start by seeking help from God because it is not easy to let go of the past, I must tell you. Don't let people deceive you. It takes constant renewal of your mind and connecting with positive people and things. So, number one is to stop the approval seeking. Number two, stop the people pleasing mentality. Number three is to stop rejecting people or judging them. Accept, trust, and believe people for who they are. After all, you aren't perfect also. Anything is possible if you set your mind to it. Today is a good day to start afresh. Now, that's the close-up for today. I mean, I'm so relieved and ease right now. Would you like to share your experience about rejection with me? Feel free on burden and lighting up. You can chat me up on my WhatsApp handle on 234 8020338180. Let me repeat myself to 34802338180. Or you can visit my Facebook page, Blue Buttons Comes, Blue Buttons Communications. I beg your pardon. And like the page. Thank you for hanging around. Stay safe always. It's bye for now.